Hello everyone, welcome to the telling of my journey as to how I've gotten this far on YouTube and Twitch, which is not very far, but um, I hope you enjoy. I put a lot of time into this one, and yeah, here we go. Alright, let's set the scene for this story. It's about 2020, uh, Christmas time, it's rolling around, and I remember waking up, coming downstairs, and I looked to the tree with bewilderment apparently, and I opened this box, and inside, I couldn't believe it, it was a PlayStation VR headset. I was very excited to use this bad boy, and I believe that I even said... Then I took it downstairs, I tried plugging it all in, I plugged in the headset, I plugged it into my PlayStation, and then it didn't work. So I did some research and I found out that you needed a camera to capture all your movement and I found one at Walmart. So I decided to take a quick trip to the store. I found the camera, I bought it, took it back home and I, I was I was like, this is the one, all right? And I plugged everything in uh, as I did the first time and to my astonishment, didn't work again. So I took the camera and I thought about it and I was like, well, if it's not good for the PlayStation headset, then I guess I don't really need it anymore. So I was gonna just like get rid of it. But then I had a greater realization. What if I decided to stream? So I did some research and I found out that I could stream with it on my PlayStation using that webcam. And I sat down and tried to create a Twitch channel, which went well until I needed to figure out a name. Uh, that part did not go well. That took me uh, a good couple hours, and I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, I did not come up with anything. So I eventually gave up and just went back to my daily life, and I texted my girlfriend, and she gave me the best name that I could think of. So now that the channel's created, I decided, well, I guess that's start to try and stream something and I was big brain at the time and I knew not to play saturated games so I looked at my game library and I decided to play No Man's Sky, Overwatch, and the Spider-Man on PlayStation and these games were pretty fun to play on stream. Now I didn't see much growth in this period of time that I started but it was a lot of fun and I found out that it was a very fun hobby and it was fun to just play video games with people but I wanted to take things to the next level. So I decided to grab my laptop and I tried to prepare everything as though I would be streaming from there. But you may be asking, how do you stream from a laptop? That thing's a piece of garbage. Well, let me tell you, it wasn't easy, but I just put my laptop in airplane mode and then, um, yeah, I started streaming and it sounded like it was about to take off. But seriously, I ran the lowest settings on Minecraft, and that actually worked pretty well for a good period of time. And I like this because I had my own overlay for the first time. It helped me feel a lot more professional, and I liked it a lot more. And I reached 50 followers to get affiliate, and I cried like a baby, because this meant I was like, for real. At one point, my friend from the Navy even donated 40 subs. But I still knew that I needed to take things even further. I knew that I needed to do a YouTube channel, but it seemed so scary and like I would never get discovered on YouTube, but I know now that it's actually harder to get discovered on Twitch, but anyway. I started a channel with the same name. I released a trailer video for the Twitch channel in hopes that I would bring in people from YouTube somehow over to my Twitch channel, and I even released a Minecraft parody. Uh, yeah, we don't talk about that one. It was fun to make. But I took a step back from YouTube, and I wanted to go full steam ahead on my Twitch channel. And so I streamed more frequently this past summer, 2020. I also started my own little community on Discord called the Hall of Heroes, hence my last name. And if you want to join, it's in the description. And if you like what you see, maybe you might subscribe. And I had a lot of fun playing with my friends, just meeting new people in the chat and holding events. By the end of the summer, I'd say I probably gained 100 plus followers, but school hit and numbers declined, and I thought I was about ready to give up on streaming. But, ya boy didn't give up, and he kept chugging. All right, so something I didn't say was that the past two years, I've been slowly collecting PC parts, and somehow this fall, I was able to actually get my hands 
on a graphics card for the PC. So me and my friend Thomas uh, grabbed the parts, put them all together, crafted that bad boy, and it revived my passion for streaming and content making. And I've never felt more ready to make some kicking YouTube videos and some Twitch streams and to just have fun with it no matter what happens. Hey guys, so cut to current day uh, setup. We got the monitor up top. This is the new one. Uh, this is an old monitor that I just had lying around. And the new keyboard, the mouse, and there's the PC. You can't really see much, but yeah, this is the little setup that I now have. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing how I got from there to now and how I'm doing. And I hope you all have a great new year. I'm excited for what this new year brings. And I hope we make some good content and that we have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mwah.